Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a quick video on the channel and I wanted to go over adding parts to Sagoza's spreadsheet for Nitto 1320 Legends. The project is going amazingly well. There's been a lot of people asking how can I contribute and a lot of people are saying they want to donate. Don't even go there yet. Um, that is something I will leave up to Sagoza, what he wants to do in the future because we know how 1320 Challenge went. Anyway, the actual spreadsheet that Sagoza made, super awesome. It shows so much information. I mean, he's even got working like dino graphs in the freaking spreadsheet. Like, this man's amazing. Anyway, shop items and parts and vehicles. Adding in proper info for vehicles, the parts, and all that is pretty much kind of what we need right now. So, for adding parts... The biggest issue is making sure we don't duplicate anything. And something that I want to point out before anything is if you're going to help, you want to make sure your autocomplete is enabled because that will show you if you're adding in a duplicate pipe part. So like high strength valves, boom, you can see it's up here and I'm accidentally typing in it again. It'll also work on some of these other sections. So it'll work even on the parts list here. If you want to add a brand, let's say I want to add Jetson, that's already there. So under the brand, there's so many, so many. But if you come across a brand, let's say, I don't think Hunter is in here yet. Hunter, it is, crap. Um, Dash is not in here. So you add the brand of the part, let's say Dash, that's an Iridium spark plug set. And then you go over to here and you do uh, spark plug set. So you do spark plugs for the type of part, you do dash for the uh, brand, and then Newberg for the city, and you do super spark iridium spark plug set. And actually, these are Creekside. My bad. There we go. Or if you want to do the battery, you do tech X, you do battery. Um... Where did I see battery? Hunter. Hunter. Creekside. Lightweight battery. It's that simple to add parts to this. If you come across something and the category doesn't seem to exist for the part, you can also go into the parts and scroll all the way over, and these are categories for parts. We pretty much have everything locked in, I think. But just in case you know you can also add the category for the parts but your best bet right now is basically just adding parts and making sure you don't duplicate it if you really want to get into the nitty-gritty you can also even try to input the proper vehicle but not a lot of the cars are in here yet so we've been leaving it as common just for the sake of uh the ease of entering parts and if you really want if you have the info for like what the part cost was it's very simple to find it um, and add it in. Ooh, my girlfriend's coming home with salsa at 1035 at night. Heck yeah. Anyway, you can add in all this information. If you know what the weight was and the horsepower, we're all going to kind of figure that out and play it by ear anyway in the end when we start really adding vehicles and parts. But as of right now, this is probably the easiest way for people to help is to contribute parts. Now, the other question is, how do I find information? How do I find, where did you get this spreadsheet? This spreadsheet, Kennard found it, um, the mastermind behind 1320 Challenge, uh, as far as the history of it, and a lot of gameplay as well. Man was a master at driving the RSX. Anyway, finding stuff like this is actually a lot of fun, but kind of difficult. So the best thing you can really do when it comes to trying to find information on the game is usually archive.org and go like nitto1320legends.com slash community. That was the name of the forum, if you remember. Uh, actually, it was Nitto Legends. Sorry. Forgot. What a lot of you don't know is I actually own the domain nitto1320legends. Anyway, uh, and what you'll want to do is you just want to kind of dig through, maybe go to like 2011. Yeah, I own this domain. <laughs> anyway, what you want to do is just select a random date, kind of mid year of the project actually existing or the game existing back then. 
And the best way to find stuff is just dig through the forum. There's a really big raccoon in my neighbor's backyard. And I only know that because their garage light auto turned on. But what you can do is actually just go through like car brands, dyno tuning, classified ads. Uh, you can try to dig through here and see what pages are backed up and are not backed up. This is also another great way to find out information and things like that. So I hope this helps you guys understand how to contribute to Legends. Another thing that can really help is even just reverse engineering and finding uh, videos and game files. And maybe even somebody could start a spreadsheet of what the fastest times for most head-to-head -head cars were that would be an amazing help because granted obviously the game's not going to be one-to-one -one identical that's literally not possible unless somebody gives us the old files and we put it up as if the day it closed that's it's not going to happen that way i'm sorry i know a lot of people want to keep it that way so cars aren't going to run quite the same so like we can try to make it so the 905.79 horsepower Scion TC runs 7.425 at fastest, but we can't guarantee that because we don't know the science behind how they were doing it. We only know how we can do it. And horsepowers probably aren't even going to match up, but we need to have a ballpark idea of how cars should run. So if you guys can help us out with that, that would be greatly appreciated too. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this short, sweet, simple video, and I'll Talk to you later. Peace out.